Hot damn. I just filmed this video like 40 minutes ago. As I was importing the footage over yonder, uh, I just realized, wow, it was atrocious. I'm about to keep it real, you guys. I'm on my period right now. I am sweating profusely as we speak. My face in that footage was so shiny that I was blinding myself like I was holding up a mirrored palette. My hair was almost equally as greasy and my flying saucer on my chin was just protruding. So I was editing that and I was like, yo, I cannot, I can't, I can't, I can't post that. <laughs> my hair has never looked this atrocious while filming. My bald spots are raging, but you know, this is where I'm at today. Um, it's just one of those days. So for anyone who has stumbled upon my channel for the first time, I'm sorry we had to meet under these uh, conditions. But I would absolutely love if you subscribe, just hit that button right down below and become part of the fam. I post a bunch of videos every single week to just help out my fellow girl bosses live our best lives, even if that means looking like this sometimes, because it's okay, it's fine. So I'm gonna show you guys my end of the summer haul and normally this would be a back to school haul for me, but this is the first year that I'm like really not going back to school. So I figured it'd be more appropriate if I titled this my end of summer haul because there's been so many sales going on because brands are just getting ready for their fall inventory so they're getting rid of their summer stuff but luckily for me I live in LA and it's just like the same season the whole year round which I'm not mad about when it comes to sales so the first thing I want to show you guys is a pair of shoes that I have been loving and I've been wearing these all over my blog pretty much since I launched my blog in June, thecaitlinb.com. I have been wearing these shoes like nonstop, but I've never showed them on my YouTube, I don't think. So this is the shoe, these are by Mark Fisher. I got these from Nordstrom. I am obsessed with these shoes, you guys. I was eyeing them for a while. There's so many different styles, but I ended up going with this one. I just felt like I had so many black shoes that I really wanted to switch it up and this was so summery and gorgeous and definitely an investment shoe, but they're very high quality, great investment pieces. And I'm gonna be wearing this for a long time. They make my legs look so long. Like every time I wear them, people are like, wait, I thought you had really stubby legs. And I was like, I know, me too. I'm just as confused as you are. Show Me Your Moo Moo had an amazing sale a couple of weeks ago. I can't remember if it was 50% off of everything or if it was like an extra sale on top of the sale items. So I was all about that. So I took advantage of that fully. So the first thing I got was this jumpsuit that I'm actually wearing right now. And it is so 70s and so awesome. I love Color. I'm obsessed with the cut. It's just so flattering. It's flowy and you just feel like a goddess. The only thing is it is way too long for me. Like even wearing those wedges, which are like my tallest shoe, I still have like pile of fabric on the floor because I'm only five foot three. I knew that was gonna happen when I looked at it online just because the model was really tall and it was still long on her, I felt like. So I'm definitely gonna have to get this I can't even lift my foot up. I'm so not flexible. I'm definitely gonna have to get this hemmed quite a bit. Next thing I got was this white dress and I thought this was so pretty for the summertime, but obviously going into the fall because it is so hot here in the fall months. It's so weird. It'll be like 90 degrees in October. My body is very confused. I thought this was so pretty. I don't own enough white items. I'm, I have like a lot of black. It's almost a midi length on me, but, um, and normally I stay away from that style because I am so short that it would like make me look a lot more stubby but this one actually has some like slits on the side here and the fabric kind of gets more sheer towards the bottom and then you can see like the lining stops like right here so it does give me some like i don't look like a complete potato sack which is like that's not like a bad thing this is inside Next thing I got was this off the shoulder top and I love this one so much. The color and just the pattern is so cute. It's so girly and I believe they have this in like style in a ton of different patterns. So if you're like not about this life then there's definitely like the pattern for you on there. But it's just flowy and super easy. I love wearing this with my high-waisted denim. It's just like one of those easy tops to throw on but still adorable. Okay, this next top is super saucy and it reminds me just like very 70s-esque because it has some bell sleeves. Sorry, it's like inside out because I already filmed the try on part of this. This is what it looks like. And normally this is like a top that's super out of my comfort zone, but I saw it and because it was on sale, I was like, all right, let's do this thing. Love the color though, like the cranberry. I just think it looks really fun with my dark hair. I've been loving wearing red and berry tones with my new hair. I don't really know what it is, but I love it. It has a lace up 
design detail in the center here and it almost feels like I'm like George Washington when I'm wearing this because it has that kind of like cupcake uh, center to it and I'm like really all about it. But my favorite part is the sleeves. Oh my gosh, how fun is that? It's like cinched, but then it's got the bell sleeve. I'm really into the flowy stuff as you will see. There is a pattern going on. I also got this maxi skirt and this is probably my one of my favorite patterns that Show Me Your Moo Moo has. And it's simple, but I just, I don't know, I love it. So pumped that this is on sale because I have two tops in this pattern already, I have an off the shoulder longer sleeve and then I have a shorter sleeve one, which I wore in my school outfit ideas video. So go check out the info bar above after this video if you wanna check that out. But I was super pumped because now I have two tops that I can match with this and then also just wear like any other top that I wanna wear with this. And I wore this recently when I went to a lunch with the Four Seasons Hawaii and Beverly Hills, which was so incredible. I cannot believe I was invited to that. That was the coolest thing ever. Next few things I wanna show you guys are from a showroom that I was invited to recently. So if you guys are unaware, a lot of times brands will have showrooms or sample sales or gifting suites, especially here in Los Angeles, I'm sure in every other big city as well. But um, I was never familiar with this like, growing up in the Midwest. And since I moved to LA, I've been super fortunate and grateful to be invited to some gifting suites and some showrooms. And basically you get to go and check out the brand's showroom and you can pick out items for free and bring them home with you. It's so cool. It's just like, it's, it's such a weird concept because I feel like I'm stealing when I go in there. I'm like, can I really take this? Like I feel so bad, but that's just like the point of it. But recently I was so honored. I was invited to the Band of Gypsy showroom and they have a couple other brands in there as well. The first dress is my absolute every Thing. When I saw this, I was just like, holy crap, this is like the one item that I absolutely have to bring home with me. Oh my gosh, it is stunning. So flattering, first of all. I just love the cut of it. I've been loving kind of, it's like the similar cut to um, this jumpsuit that I'm wearing, but it's just so easy to throw on. And again, I love the color, like wearing red with my darker hair. Again, I've been loving wearing dresses and jumpsuits lately. It's just been like my new everything. They've been growing exponentially in my wardrobe. It feels so girly, I just love it. If you get one thing from this haul, well, there's like two things that you guys have to have, but this is definitely one of the items that if you're looking for a dress that you wanna just like wear all the time, um, definitely get your hands on this before that one runs out. This is the other dress I got from Band of Gypsies. It's kind of like the off the shoulder, but it still has the little uh, spaghetti straps right here. But this is just one of those dresses that, again, is super easy to throw on. It kind of reminds me of like a bandana <laughs> because of the pattern, especially on the bottom here. But I just thought this was so cute. And I wore this recently on my Instagram. So I will put a picture of that here. The last thing I got from Band of Gypsies was this. Oh my God, there's a huge hair. <laughs> I'm disgusting. It has that same style where it has like the straps, but then it's kind of like off the shoulder as well. And I ended up picking this up. I think it was an extra small just so that, yep, I got an extra small, just so that I could wear this like really easily with my high-waisted jeans, shorts, and a belt, like from below the belt. I just was like picturing the outfit while I was in the showroom. I just didn't want it to be super oversized where I looked weird with like my high-waisted shorts because I knew I'd be tucking it in. So, so cute. Again, it has that same kind of like bell sleeve a little bit, but like on a way lesser scale. Like I said, the showroom was combined with a couple other brands. So I got to pick out a couple other things from Daydreamer LA and they have just the softest t-shirts ever. Oh my gosh, I was just like running my hands along all the t-shirts and just was like oh my gosh I want my bed to just be a pile of daydreamer shirts like that would just be absolute heaven so I got this band t-shirt and they have a ton of bands I just scratched my face and got lipstick all over my nose <laughs> Super cute. Well, the show must go on. Bunch of bands there, but I don't listen to like a ton of those bands. So I just picked up one of them. Don't hate me. But I grabbed at the doors and this one is just so incredibly soft. I've worn this a couple times since I've gotten it. I love wearing t-shirts. They're just like my, my safe place, you know. They also have a bunch of cute sayings on their t-shirts. So I also got this one that says, never underestimate the power of a mojito. And I honestly don't really love mojitos by any means, but I thought this was super cute. And I'll definitely wear this on the beach or the pool when I'm like sipping a Mai Tai. This would also be a great airport t-shirt. Layer like a cardigan over that. I dig it. I've picked up one more thing from the Reformation lately. If you guys don't follow my vlog, you may have not 
really heard me talk about this too, too much, but all over my blog, I have just been obsessed with the Reformation because they are ethical, sustainable, they're made here in LA, and they just have really high quality pieces. Their stuff's definitely at a higher price point than stuff that I normally buy, but it's such good quality that I'm like, okay, when I want an investment piece, I'm gonna go there. At least it's like sustainable, you know what I mean? So I picked up these jeans and I love them so much. Can we talk about this detail? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be honest, it looks way better on the model online than it does on myself. It's way too long on me, so I'm definitely gonna have to get this hemmed. And if possible, if I can like bring it in just like a tiny bit, that would be amazing. But other than that, I love them. And I also wore this in my school outfit ideas videos. So again, check out that video if you haven't. This is just like the denim that you know you're gonna have in your closet for a long time. And the last place I've picked up some things recently from is Urban Outfitters. And I, I feel like I go through like, wait, with Urban Outfitters, either I love their inventory or I'm like not really about it. Lately, I have been loving their stuff, especially their jumpsuits. When I was talking about earlier, how if, you, if you're getting like one thing from this haul, then um, you need like a couple things. Well, this is that other thing. It's this adorable cream sweater and it's just like my everything. I have worn this so much lately. It's like probably disgusting. I don't even know if I've washed it yet. The sleeves are so cool. I feel like a marshmallow when I'm wearing this. It's a crop sweater, but it's like oversized at the same time. So you just feel like you're just like swallowed in a blanket and it's the absolute best thing ever. And I know a lot of you guys live somewhere where it gets pretty crisp and cool in the fall time. So this would just be the perfect addition to your fall wardrobe. So you should get your hands on this before this sells out. I got this in a small because it is oversized, but you can definitely get a size up if you really want it to be oversized or not as cropped because I will say like the front does kind of come up a little bit, especially if you have boobs, you're definitely gonna want to go up a size. And I got two more things. Like I said, I got some jumpsuits. I went to Cape Cod for a bachelorette party last weekend and it was so much fun. I love Cape Cod. I got this jumpsuit for that trip. So this is a strapless jumpsuit and I think it might hit my ankle or a little bit above so it's shorter. I also went a size down than I normally do just because I really want it to be like snug and like fit on me. You know, I hate when like it's strapless and you're feeling like you have to keep pulling it up. You know what I mean? And then the last thing that I picked up was this other jumpsuit, which is Probably my favorite jumpsuit that I own in my closet and maybe one of my favorite pieces at the moment. I know Sarah has this too, which is really, really funny that we both picked this up. Can we just talk about how cute this is? Ah! So this one is also strapless and I got this a size down than I normally do as well because it has like this cinched front right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it reminds me of like those tube tops we used to wear. So it's like super fitted on your chest, which is great. And then it also has this extra layer on top so you don't have to wear any bra. It's the best thing ever. It's just so flowy. Like the, sh the bottoms are so cool. I'm sure you guys will be able to tell in the picture that I insert here. In some pictures and like when you're walking around, it definitely does look like you're wearing a maxi dress sometimes because it's so flowy. And I wore this on the beach like taking pictures and it was so fun. It definitely looked like I was taking like solo engagement pictures. Self love. All right guys, so that is it for my haul the second time around. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. Once again, Again, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love if you became part of the fam and hit that subscribe button right below. I post a bunch of videos every single week just to help out my high school and college babes, my post-grad babes, all of this young adult stuff that we have to deal with. I would just absolutely love to help you guys out and live your best lives. So hit that subscribe button right below so that way you will not miss a single video from me. But other than that, I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I will see you in my next one.